Hey guys, Lee Constantin, the Body Consult here, and today I'm with Sharon, who just finished the program, come back from her wedding, and we're going to dive in and talk about her experience and her time in the program. So Sharon, let's take us back before we talk about the program. What were you doing with your health and fitness, and what was life like for you? I feel embarrassed to say this, but I had a PT for like two years. Um, so fitness-wise, I would say I was giving my 110%. I don't actually think I could have done anything more. Going to the gym, having half five, six a.m. sessions in the morning, then going to work. Um, food, I never track. This whole counting calories, did not understand. I've downloaded my fitness pal for probably for about five years, but never really knew how to use it. Um, and I don't think I was really making myself accountable. I had the fitness in terms of went to the gym, had this trainer, and that was it. So I didn't see the results I wanted to see. Cool, cool. Yeah, I remember when we spoke initially. Um, and so how did we connect? How did you get to the point of getting into the program and make that decision to change what wasn't working? I just knew I'd reached a point where I didn't know what else to do. Um, you know, two years with a PT, I actually was doubting myself, like, oh my God, there's something wrong with me. I'm not going to be able to lose this weight. Because you see it on Instagram, you see it on social media everywhere. You do see these before and after pictures, but in such a short period, people can make drastic changes. And in my mind, I was like, two years. And I can't see that. Um, obviously, I knew you from before when we worked together. And so I knew, well, I'd always followed you. So I saw a post, one of your posts. And I think first time I just thought, I'll just comment. And I think you reached out to me. And it just got me, made, me, made me think that actually, I need to try something different. Um, and then I had the wedding already set. So it was like, right. I need to do something, I need to change something because what's, what I've got at the moment isn't working for me. Yeah, I think a lot of people will get into that position where they end up just doing things out of habit. And I knew like when we spoke initially, you were kind of stuck in this habit of seeing the PT and just kind of going with the flow and never really reflecting and questioning if you're getting results. And it wasn't until we spoke that you were like, actually, this isn't working and I'm not seeing what I want to see, right? That was exactly what you said. Um, so before we talk about the result and the amazing experience that you've had since, what were some of the things we did that transitioned you from having a PT to knowing what to do? What were some of the solutions that we came up with for you? It was just doing some of the simple things. I would go to the gym and I knew I had a PT, right? But I never knew how much weight I could actually lift because I never knew how to set up a machine on some on some machines because my PT would just set it up so we literally from our conversation that day I signed up I cancelled my PT and actually he would try, kind of ignore me at the gym as well because he knew I cancelled um, but it was I knew I could use those machines but it was building my confidence to know how to use them. And then to just be aware of how much I could actually lift and or couldn't lift. Yeah. So that was one part, which now I know that I can take that away with me. But then it, the other part for me was the food. You know, I was, I was, I don't have like a majorly sweet tooth. So to me, I was like, what am I doing wrong? You know, there's people who go out and have like burgers and chips and pizzas. I like my vegetables and I'm like, I eat a lot of vegetables and fruit, but it was just knowing actually how much I should be eating. So it's like really going down to the basics with me. Um, I, mean, I think I needed to understand that in order to build on it. Right, yeah. So the nutrition, as you, you probably realized, was the biggest part of seeing that quick result. But then it was like realizing that you know how to train, you just need to the belief and the confidence of what to do, um, and you did it. So, 
the result, Sharon, like, you know, we were working towards a big day. You had a big goal, get ready for the wedding. Did you get into the shape that you wanted to be for your wedding day? Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, I even amazed myself because as the, the mind is a funny thing. I had so much self doubt at times. Um, and I know I came to you and I would nag and I'd be like, when I'd send you the pictures, oh, I feel really disappointed. And you'd come back and go, Sharon, but have you actually compared it to the very first picture? And then I'm like, oh, I can see it. Yeah. But now I'm looking at, I haven't got my professional photos yet, but I'm looking at all my videos and all my photos that I've had on my phone. And I feel so happy about it, knowing that I actually did way more than I possibly thought I could. My dresses fit, I felt good. It wasn't like I was like going into certain angles and posing just in case to get, you know, I thought I looked big. So yeah, I, for me, I absolutely, yeah, I feel like I've done it. Yeah, amazing. And that's what we wanted. It was about you getting to the wedding and fitting into those dresses that you were worried about. The couple of yes. <laughs> Absolutely. And you know, loving the experience. But for me, most importantly, it was giving you the tools to do this long term. So do you feel like now you've gone through your wedding, you've come out the other side, that you can maintain this new lifestyle? Yeah, I can. Um, I know you've helped me create the foundation. You've taught me how, what I need to implement. Even things like my daily steps. My job is hectic and I, you probably hear this from other people and everyone says it. I spend a lot of my time traveling. So sometimes I can do a lot of hours, but I spend a lot of time traveling in the car and then going straight into meetings and straight back out. That steps is not something that I was ever in my priority. Yeah. And now I'm like, I was being conscious of going for a walk. So the days that I know that I'm working from home, I would just get up and go for a walk in the evening, just because I know how much of a difference that can make. Mm -hmm. um, and I'd see it, I'd see it on the scales, I'd see how I felt. Um, so yeah, you guys have definitely gave me the tools and the knowledge. The knowledge is something that no one can take away from you. You know, you can update your tools and yes, new apps and everything can come out. But the knowledge that you teach someone, that will always remain. 100%, absolutely. And that's, uh, I'm so glad you said that about just being more conscious of your activity and just like mm -hmm. going for a walk because, yeah, it helps you burn some calories, but it makes you feel good, gives yeah. you some energy, and, um, you know, you can show up in life with more happiness. So outside of the weight loss, which is obviously the main focus, what else have you kind of changed in your life as a result of going through this process? Um, mindset and discipline. So when I want to focus, I really, that's it. I give it my all. But I think self-doubt always kicks in. And through this program, speaking to yourself and Gary, it's been quite clear that you sometimes you just need to be kind to your mind. Because, yes, I was physically doing everything, but then my mind was telling me, no, you're not doing enough. You need to be doing more. Um, and quite often, you guys would try and talk to me, um, and I'd realise, actually, that's just my own self-doubt that is holding me back and how much the mind plays into all of this in, like, not just fitness, but everything you do in life your mind can really hold you back so much and actually sometimes we need to keep that part of us quiet and focus on the positive even if they are small little wins absolutely i think that's the biggest thing um with with this process is like having the right mindset and you know like having i think been with a personal trainer for two years and not seeing results that's where the self-doubt started mm -hmm question of like is it me and so we kind of had to really like extract that out of your brain and reprogram the way you think so you can see that no you can do this you just needed the right processes so you know that's what you've done so 
So I like um, anyone who's watching this, Sharon, and you know, maybe getting ready for a wedding or um, had a PT and not getting results or just kind of like want to get results. That then, could you share a couple words to maybe encourage them to reach out and get the help? That need? Absolutely. It's the best self-investment I've done in myself. We're all so busy on a day-to-day. -day. Everything is taking priority. And quite often we put ourselves last. If what you're doing at the moment isn't working, you really need to reflect and challenge yourself that only you can make those changes to change and make a difference in what you want to achieve. So whether you need to ditch that PT because your PT, yes, knows how to set up the weights for you and the machines, but isn't really making you accountable on your food, or how you track and giving you the knowledge, then you need to go change something. Whether that's listening to podcasts, whether that's doing your own research on the internet, whether that's reaching out to the likes of you. You know, sometimes what we need is a bit of guidance. Um, and that comes from, from people who've got the experience and the previous knowledge. And what you're teaching us isn't rocket science, but it's things that we have failed to try and understand because it's also a bit of fear of going into something, not understanding of how to use a tool, how to count your calories. So yeah, it's the only person who can make any changes is yourself. And that's through anything in life. You've got to get out of your comfort zone. Powerful words, Sharon. Thank you for sharing that. I'm sure someone who's listening is going to get up and do something differently because a lot of time, you know, people do, like you said, they live in their fears and they make decisions based out of the fear of like, what if I fail rather than what if this works? Yes. And you obviously made the decision based on this working and you got to experience your wedding and have an amazing time and love the videos and pictures that are going to be with you for the rest of your life. Uh, so anyone who's watching this, who's inspired, there's a link somewhere, a link if you want to have a chat. But Karen, just want to say once again, big well done for this achievement in the program and for like what's to come in your life and your future with your husband. So once again, big well done to you. Thank you.